One of the major concerns with today's weather was flash flooding and News 8 meteorologist Sam Cantro. He's got your back this noon. He joins us live from Brantford with what you and your family need to know in the event you get stuck in rising waters. Sam. Brian. Getting stuck in rising waters is not a good thing. Over the last 114 years, since 1900, over 10,000 people unfortunately have died due to flash flooding. And out of those people who have died, 66% of them died in a vehicle. And you can take a look in front of me. We would love to show you the roadways going from New Haven towards where we are right now. By the way, we're in Brantford off exit 54 at Dunkin' Donuts. But there's really nothing to show you on the roads. Many of them are dry. But the view that's in front of me, take a look at the video that we shot from earlier today of a car that was stuck in this water. And you know what? Six inches of water, that's all you need to cause most cars to either lose control if they're driving on the road or hydroplane as well or they can stall if they're stuck over there. Just six inches of uh, rapidly moving water can actually knock you right off your feet. One foot, will, uh, one foot of water will float a smaller vehicle. Two feet of water can float a large vehicle. So the lesson learned in a situation like today is, you know, if we come back to taking a look at what you actually see in front of us right now in Brantford, which a lot of the water has now started to subside, there's truly no way for you to know how deep the water actually is. So remember the saying, Turn around, don't drown. It's a very important lesson to know whenever you have flooded conditions. For more information, head over to WXEdge.com. I'm meteorologist Sam Cantro. Back to you, Keith.